Hello everybody, welcome to Simulator Fan News. I hope you're keeping very well today. So, we have a very, very cool update from Big Ambitions. This was posted on Wednesday, March 27th. And this is all linked to their one year since they opened up early access onto Steam. And apparently, just a couple of weeks ago, they were about to start their new version, EA 0 0.5. Um, so I did miss this update. So let's check this out. So here we go. The experimental branch approach. So until now, we have released our updates directly to live branch on Steam, relying fully on selected testers and our own play testing to catch all the bugs. We're changing that. Starting with our upcoming EA 0.5, we looked at how other successful early access titles manage updates and concluding that adopting an experimental branch release strategy is the way to go. For new releases, we'll initially publish them on new experimental branch on stream. This allows everybody to test the new features and help us iron out any remaining bugs or identify needs for changes and rebalancing. Alongside this, we will release a Steam announcement highlighting the major new features, but not full change log as it might change based on feedback. Once the update is available on Experimental Branch, we'll start addressing some of the issues, shipping hot fixes, each accompanied by an independent stream announcement. Finally, once we believe the update is fully tested and stable, we'll move to a live default branch along with a major update type Steam announcement, including a video showcasing new features and full change log. So, this is the bit I'm quite excited about is the roadmap. Um, and this is the one which they have just announced. And we'll go back to this in a moment, which the the rivalry begins. Um, Lower Manhattan, a brand new neighborhood, mainly adding a lot of new warehouses to the map. Rivals, a brand new rival system that makes taking over neighborhoods much harder. And UI optimization, number one, first pass on improving our user interface. So I'm just going to go through these as well. So assemble the line, early access 0.5. Factories set up assembly lines and production machinery and start producing your own products. Wow. And then they'll be working again on the user interface. Broadway show business. Ah. Theatre and cinema, roll out the red carpet and turn entertainment into profit with new cinema and theatre business types. Update Broadway area, theatres in NYC need a home, so we'll be updating the Broadway area. And then restocking box consolidation, improved restocking and box consolidation. Then 0.8, let the good times roll. The Hamptons, show off your wealth in a brand new luxury island, including player-owned residential homes. Wow. Accessible by car or boat? Boat update. Boats will be saleable and the yacht will have a customizable interior. And a personal driver. Hire a private driver to quickly travel around the city. Oh, my gosh. The sky is the limit. Early access 0.9. Golf and tennis. You've spent enough time watching your business grow. Take a few minutes to enjoy some recreational sports. You burnt it. JFK Airport. Inside the airport, several businesses can be operated by the player. But of course, the main purpose of the airport is to travel to new locations. <gasps> and then a DLC, Costa del Sol, introducing our very first DLC, 
fly overseas from JFK Airport and land on in sunny Malaga. Wow. It's time to take Uncle Fred up on his offer for drinks in his luxurious vacation home in Marbella. A brand new challenging journey awaits you. Wow, wow, wow. So, let's check this out. The rivalry begins. So, if we go back to yesterday's announcement. um, Let's go here. What's new in EA 0.5 rivals so okay let's start with our titular feature titular uh rivals what does that mean first it means a nice new app on your biz phone here you can keep track of all the rivals and see your ranking in the top 20 that's cool there are four special rivals each dominating their own neighbourhood. As you start to take up space in their neighbourhood, these rivals will target you with product shortages, price reductions, decreasing neighbourhood demands, and poaching your best employees. Stay strong and you can survive their attacks. The severity of their attack depends on the, your game difficulty. So these are the four. So you've got Ingrid, Jessica, uh, Thierry, and Juan. Okay. Additionally, there are 15 minor rivals scattered throughout the city who will try and steal your other employees from time to time. Usually these employees will give you a chance to keep them if you agree to give them a raise, but also you can choose to ignore them and let them quit. Your headhunter will still replace these employees who quit or get poached, but it will take a few days to find a replacement, so you better not let your rivals steal them from you. Note, retiring employees are still replaced instantly. Okay. Prove to Uncle Fred that you're better than all these rivals and reach number one on the leaderboard. So let's discuss Lower Manhattan. While the rivals are busy taking over the existing neighbourhoods, we expanded the map and made a, f a new neighbourhood. Now, this is exciting. It's Lower Manhattan. There's new wholesale stores. There's new appliance stores. There's a skate park. There's four warehouses. I'm sorry, four warehouse layouts. And new above ground parking garage. Economy balancing. So it looks like they've made several big balance and changes to the economy, which should help things flow a lot better. So they've gone employee wages balance, business balancing, general economy. Um, so let's just dive into these. So wages now go up with training. Reduced minimum maximum wages at 100% skill. Base wage changes. Cleaners, 5 to 12. Um, headquarter employees 15 to 30, DJ 15 to 20, hairdresser 15 to 18, programmers, graphic designs 30 to 25. Okay. Why is that one gone down? The rest of them are increased. This one's gone down. Okay. Um, electronic store overhaul decrease in sales, clothing minor decrease in weekend sales, hairdresser overall decrease in sales. Jewelry added smart watches to the product list. Uh, fast food increased several sale prices to higher Manhattan prices to boost sales. Fruit and vegetable increased to package size price while maintaining the current unit sale to boost overall profit. And then last but not least, the general economy. The highest price you can sell things at is now more dynamic. It is based on your employee's skill level and the class of the citizen in the neighbourhood. But there are a couple more factors now. Number one, rivals can drop their prices below the current market price and can drive down the prices your customers are willing to pay. Number two, if there's no competition in the area, you can increase the pricing even higher than you previously could. So that is 
a little bit of give and take, that will mean having to rethink where you're opening your businesses. Do you go into an area where your competition is or do you open up in a region where there's less competition so that you can capture a new market? I love that. There is a new business, a bookstore. We've got a new type of store in EA 0.5, the bookstore. Bookstores can use large or small bookshelves to sell six types of books that can be purchased from the new Hudson Wholesale or from Bluestone Imports. There are also decorative bookshelves that can be used to read books and gain happiness. Um, so there's some miscellaneous notes here. Um, employees, HR manager can upgrade insurance. The headhunter can either search forever or be set to stop on a certain number. Employees can get bonuses to boost their satisfaction. And then there's some UI updates. I'm not going to read all this out. I'll just let you do a little skim read whilst I take a little drink. Quite interesting. Lots of updates to the app by the looks of it. Okay. Pause it if you want to carry on reading, but I'm going to carry on. So casino update. Um, AI casino patrons, new sounds and animation. New casino betting limit is now 100,000. Updated casino bar furniture, also available for player to buy. Then music and jingles. After a few rounds of musical chairs, we are back with the artists and more tracks than ever before playing in game radio. Or if you prefer to use your own music, some lag issues should be fixed now. In addition, after a few new tracks of music, you'll hear a little radio ad jingle for one of the in-game businesses for a little audio immersion. And more. Here we go. In addition to everything listed above, there's traffic improvement, bug fixes, quality of life, and much more that will be detailed in the full change log when EA 0.5 leaves preview experimental branch. How do I get access to the preview experimental branch? So if you go to Big Ambitions, right click, properties, betas, beta participation, experimental, and then it looks like you can download it from there. And then here you can go on Steam, Reddit, Big Ambitions Forum, or Discord and report bugs. So big changes, big future updates for Big Ambitions. This game seems to have big ambitions to take over the simulator business world. And I'm here for it. I'm really excited to see what they are going to be able to achieve with this game. And uh, I need to dive back in. I've only had about three hours gameplay. So watch your space. Watch out for um, me checking out this game. I will probably go for this 0.5 so that you guys can see it. Um, it does concern me, me going for it sometimes because if it crashes in game or anything like that, or if it's unplayable while I'm playing the game and recording, I don't want to put anybody off the game. Um, so if I do download it, I will let you know it is a beta version. Um, so I, I will let you know. Thank you for being here. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, you know what to do. All of the YouTube things. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more news like this in the world of simulation games.